Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Uh, uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. 
I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. If I get sick now... I I'm not in the mood, but... Still... This could be an interesting shot. Yo, Maximum Overdrive! About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby Douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. for like an hour. Good night, sweet prince. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming in, sister. Not anymore. drive all of us out of town. Or into Panna State. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. How are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP club. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me.
Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Is the Vortex Club. So his app. This has to be here tonight. It's okay. It's okay. Just. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. <laughs> Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. You dance worse than my dad. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP. I'm okay. glad Dana ended up with Trevor. I know Victoria is next on- Victoria, your picture- Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you up. Go fuck yourself in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to... Push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends?
Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people I've locked with. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creep. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Oh, good. Chloe's here. You are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Dave, maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, 
Excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Uh, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Do you see him up there, Max? Hold on! Are you okay? We need to hurry and get that motherfucker. Maybe we should have called the police. Oh, I hate this place.
hurry. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. 